Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the gift of prayer. In these uncertain times, thank you for giving us the technology to join together to worship you, even though we are apart. In these times of isolation, apart from loved ones, distant from friends, away from neighbours, thank you that there is nothing in all of creation, not even coronavirus, that is able to separate us from your love. We bring before you now and pray for the health workers tending the seriously ill, putting the welfare of others before their own. Be their guide, strength, wisdom and hope. We pray and give thanks for the scientists working on a vaccine, for the researchers analysing data and identifying trends, for the media outlets working to communicate reality, for the supermarket workers, hygiene and sanitation providers, for the good news stories of recoveries and effective planning, for the singing and clapping from balconies by lockdown communities, for the internet and telephone and technology that connects for the awakened appreciation of what is truly important. May these extraordinary times lead to deep and necessary changes in how our world works, resulting in a genuine effort to address the profound injustice in the world and to awaken us all to the reality of how connected we all are, that we may work together to create the community and world we all want to be part of. We pray for those who are unwell and concerned for loved ones, for those who are already very anxious, for those who are vulnerable because of underlying conditions, for those in care homes whom we cannot visit, for those watching their entire income dry up, for those who have no choice but to go to work, for those who are afraid to be at home, for those who are more lonely than they've ever been, for those who are bereaved and grieving. God be their healer, comfort and protection, be their strength, shield and provision, be their security, safety and close companion. We pray now for our own church community here in Bloomfield. We give thanks for Dave and all those who are making it possible for us to share together on a Sunday morning. We pray that you may be with Dave and support and guide him as he ministers to us through these uncharted waters. We also bring before you our young people as they continue with exams. We pray for the older members of our congregation missing hugs from their grandchildren. We pray for each member of our church family as we all have dark days where we crave fellowship with each other and we realise, oh God, how much we have taken for granted. We pray that you may meet the needs of each person watching this and in a moment of quietness we bring our personal concerns before you. May your love that never fails continue to be shared through the kindness of strangers, looking out for each other, for neighbours near and far, all recognising our shared vulnerability, each of us grateful for every breath and willing everyone to know the gift of a full and healthy life. Keep us all in your care, O Lord, we pray. Amen.